General Dillon, we saw during the Russia-Ukraine war questions being asked about the future of armored warfare, tank warfare, especially now with drones, uh, the ability to be able to penetrate a tank from the top with a precision fire. The, the Hamas showed incredible military sophistication in the attack that it mounted on the 7th of October. But we also know that the Israelis have been looking at what happened in that Russia-Ukraine war and learning those lessons. From what you understand, how do you see this phase of urban warfare progress uh, once it starts? Uh, good evening, Rahul. Uh, at the outset, I must put a caution that no two battlefronts, no two battlegrounds, no two battles are the same. Sure. Uh, we are just talking about Russia, Ukraine, vis-a-vis -vis Hamas, Israel or IDF. We must understand Gaza Strip is only 365 square kilometer of the real estate. North-south it's about 40-42 kilometers, east-west it is from 8 kilometers to 12 kilometers max. Tank warfare needs maneuver space, it needs elbow space. Wherever, it's say, it's about 8 to 10 kilometers of width of uh, Gaza Strip, only about 500 meters to 1 kilometer towards the Mediterranean Sea, and similar distance towards the buffer zone on the uh, east is what is clear area where the tank columns can move freely. In between, six to eight kilometers is very thickly populated, densely populated built up area, multi-story concrete, as the co-panelists were saying, the tunnels underneath. So this is going to be a very, very sluggish uh, battle and it has its own complications. I said maneuver space, so armor columns cannot be used in conventional tactical assault formations, where you line up with intercept distance of 50 meters to 300 meters, depending on the visibility and the type of threat from the enemy, and you go tally ho. It's going to be house by house, lane by lane, block by block clearing. And what are the problems of built up area of such density where multi-story buildings with windows, doors opening onto the streets, lanes and the by lanes. A well sighted sniper can stop a platoon for three to five hours by shifting room to room, shifting window to window, carrying his ammunition boxing, carrying uh, boxes, carrying his belt boxes. And the columns who are in the lane or the, on the street, they are vulnerable for attack from the ground level or fire from the seventh floor of a building, which they may not be able to see. So, they, and then the tunnels inside, underneath, they will be heavily booby trapped. Once the Hamas vacates those tunnels and moves out melting in the civilian population, they will leave them highly booby trapped. So any entry into that would be very risky. And we don't think, I don't think the Israeli forces would physically enter those tunnels. They will have the deep search detection systems. They would have activated their human intelligence assets who would tell them the exact location of the tunnels, the explosives, the ammunition which are dumped there. And then they will destroy them by top attack ammunition by either from air or from drone or by direct firing of weapons who would have been able to reach there. 